So the Galaxy S8 has this sort of funny little way of um, killing off apps that you haven't used for a long time, um, but not just killing them, but it puts them in sort of this deep sleep slash comatose like state. Uh, this can prevent them from running normally in the background. It can prevent notifications from these apps from coming through. Um, and it's kind of ridiculous because this happens automatically by default um, on the device. And you know, it does this in an effort to sort of save battery uh, and keep rogue apps from kind of you know going awry. But uh, I think it does a lot more harm than good, especially since it just sort of does this for all the applications on your phone. And it's um, a little frustrating, um, especially considering Say you have an application like WhatsApp and you have maybe three or four contacts on there, maybe just a few, and you have the app installed and you're signed in in the event that someone wants to message you. You may not use the app every day, but you don't want to no longer receive notifications from it just because you haven't opened the app in three days. So there's a way to turn this off. Basically, you go into your settings, you go into device maintenance, you click on battery, and then from here, you're going to click the three dot menu here at the top and go to advanced settings. And it's called app power monitor. I recommend just turning the whole darn thing off. Um, but if you want, you can still receive notifications from it, sort of uh, warning you about apps or letting you know that there's apps you haven't used in a long time. Um, and then you can just sort of um, turn off the automatically sleep feature. And you can also customize it. If that's what you want to do, you can um, have it automatically do stuff. Um, and then you can sort of set from the default of, I believe it's three days. You can set it to like four days, five days, or maybe even a week. Apps that you haven't used in a week, it'll automatically sleep and they will no longer function on your device. It's almost like they'll be in this weird zombie, um, half living, half dead type deal. I, I don't recommend this. I think it's a terrible feature and you should turn it off completely. So. That is how you can keep it from um, sort of deep sleeping a lot of the apps that you have. You can see here you can turn it on. Um, by keeping the feature on, but turning off the automatic function like so, um, you can still, if you decide to, I mean, that's also a very good alternative. You can go to your app power monitor list here and sort of see which apps have been using battery. These ones really haven't been using any battery at all. Um, but you know, they sort of do remain open in the background and you can sort of just deep sleep these by clicking on them. If it's an app like, hey, I'm never gonna really use that app, McDonald's maybe, save power, and this will sleep those apps and put them into a coma and you don't have to worry about them ever using any kind of battery. But again, I don't really recommend it. Just turn the down feature off and yeah, stop, stop the madness. So that's how you keep everything functioning normally on your Galaxy S8 by turning off uh, the auto sleeping feature.